churning out delicious and highly lucrative calorie bombs was not enough for Mars. Its executives wanted to be Starbucks. Sure, our product is unhealthy, but we're woke, so please don't notice. So in its ad campaigns, Mars set about making its M&M characters as unattractive as possible because when you're intentionally repulsive, it's clear you've got the right politics. So the green M&M lost her sexy boots, the brown M&M her stiletto heels. The orange M&M, meanwhile, became a poster boy for the mental health crisis and would henceforth, quote, acknowledge and embrace his anxiety because America badly needs more neurotic candy. Then late last year, Mars went further. The company added obese and distinctly frumpy lesbian M&Ms to promote, quote, feminism and body positivity. In other words, explained the Mars Corporation, it's good to be fat, have some more M&Ms. <laughs> Tucker Carlson, such a legend, he was able to beat the cartoon candy M&Ms. That's like top G alpha move, unlike anything I've ever seen.